all right we've got all of our our bellows and boots installed here now we're going to get everything installed over to our bell housing um, and basically we have our gear lube monitor hose is going to connect to this barb right here uh, we've got a clamp that holds it on there the inlet water hose is going to go through this big uh, hole here and we will uh, be securing that on the on, on the back side the u-joint bellows has a sleeve that once it's through uh, the bell housing here it secures it to it there uh, we have an, an exhaust boot that we we have in this application here if you were using the ex exhaust bellows it would then be clamped onto the bell housing here and then once we get the bell housing on we'll go ahead and run our shift cable through our uh, shift cable bellows and get get it secured but everything from here gets kind of tight so this is the best view of uh, everything before we get it together now we're going to go ahead and reinstall our hinge pins with our, our special tool and there are, there's a uh, stainless steel washer and a fiber washer that go in between the gimbal ring and the bell housing and we're also going to go ahead and install the trim limit and trim cylinder on both sides okay we've got we've got both hinge pins installed now which is going to secure the the bell housing here uh, we're going to install this uh, uh, sleeve into the u-joint bellows uh, we've, we've partially just got the sleeve stuck in there uh, so that we can uh, hook up this driver to it this uh, this part number here is 91 dash 43577 go ahead and drive it in Okay, now we're going to secure the inlet water hose to the bell housing and that is done by this tapered insert is inserted into the center of the hose and as you thread it in it, it kind of wedges in there and pushes the hose uh, secures it to the to the housing um, you install it and remove it by this special tool part number 91-3579 and it is inserted into uh, the wedge here in either direction uh, this makes it just a little bit easier to pull out once it's installed Okay, we have an, uh, our new shift cable here that we've already uh, partially started through our shift uh, bellows right there. And we've, we've got it started, so we're going to go ahead and go ahead and pull it all the way through now.
Okay, we now have the shift cable pushed through the bellows here. And we're now going to stick the uh, end of the shift cable here through the bell housing and secure it with a nut on this end. And there's a fiber washer that goes onto the onto the end of the the cable there and then the nut goes on the outside so the bell housing fits in between here and we're also going to uh, take this clamp and secure it onto the secure it onto the end of the uh, shift bellows uh, to secure it and seal it um, so that you don't get any water leaking uh, from through the uh, the outside of the cable and the bellows. Now with the shift cable installed, we've got the nut securing it on the inside right here. We're going to go ahead and install the inner core. It just feeds right into the center of the the outer core. And we're going to install uh, special tool part number 91-17263. And that's going to hold our, uh, our cable at the correct location for adjustment on the other end. Okay, we're now back here on the engine side. We've got our outer and inner uh, cores here and we're going to attach uh, this piece here onto the end thread it down until it stops and then lock in the jam nut Now we're going to attach the slide over the end. And install this uh, jam piece that jams the end of the cable onto the slide. Making sure we can see it go through the jam portion there and see it through the other hole right there. Now we'll go ahead and lock it in. Now it's connected to the inner core and on the other end we put the fixture on the back end uh, setting the the cable at the correct uh, location. Now we're going to use uh, special tool part number 91-17262 and it goes into the end of the cable and then we're going to adjust the barrel here until it fits into the uh, oops. And now the cable is adjusted and we can go ahead and stick it back onto our uh, shift uh, bracket back here. Okay, we're now going to check the engine alignment going through the gimbal bearing and into the coupler on the engine. We're going to be using special tool dash or 91-805475. And this is going to insert into the coupler and through the gimbal bearing.
Okay, we've got the drive uh, stuck back onto the back of the boat here. We've got it partially installed. Just want to make note of our shift cable. Uh, we've got it stuck correctly into the uh, shifting uh, holder uh, that's in the uh, in the drive here. So we're going to go ahead and push it the rest of the way on and get it all tightened back up along with uh, both uh, trim cylinders on each side and and then go ahead and adjust out our trim limit or excuse me trim center and trim limit on uh, both sides there okay this is a final look of the drive and trim cylinders everything adjusted out uh, with our new bellows and everything installed